excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. Oh, what up, y'all? It's KMB, the sexy ninja, and the place to be for a paper saver universe. Welcome to the New World Podcast, brother. And we're talking about Monday Night Raw. <laughs> All right, uh, I will explain why I'm laughing. So, as I push record, it got raw. <laughs> As soon as I was like, ladies and gentlemen, I was like, what up, y'all? You know, right when I, when I, when those words came out of my mouth, a fart followed and it scared me because I was like, oh my God, like, you know, like, I, I'm, it, it, I don't want to disgust anybody. It was just one of those things, like, as soon as I was like, what up? And right when I did that, what up? And went, Pfft. and I was like, oh, come on, what up? Okay, now we move on. I was just like that 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 was not planned. That was not planned and uh but let's talk about a Monday night raw. The raw after SummerSlam it's it's came and went and now we make new stories. We got a new commentary team. Michael Cole, Wade Barrett. We are in uh, Minneapolis. And we start to show off with the SummerSlam package. Of course, you, they got to showcase everything. The only thing about Raw that drives me crazy a little bit, time, uh, some of the times and a lot of the times, is the fact that they they show so many like packages. You know, like like remember last week, remember this week, oh blah blah. And it's just like, yes, let's get to the show though. Let's get to the show. You know, but Cody Rhodes comes out, starts us off, and you know. His big win over Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar acknowledging him in uh, after that match, you know, because Cody talks about it. He's like, yeah, he's talking to his mom in the morning, and his mom goes, Cody, think about it. Brock Lesnar acknowledged you. And Cody Rhodes is like, you know, using that word acknowledge, you know, hinting at the fact we're going to have Roman and Cody too. The redemption story of going through these hard times and now he has had the seal of approval of a John Cena. Now the seal of approval of a Brock Lesnar. A Brock Lesnar who's never done this done this sign of respect before. It was crazy. It's one of those beautiful moments and it wasn't scripted in any way. Brock Lesnar does what Brock Lesnar wants to do and he showed some love to Cody. Oh, it was so great. Then Seth Rollins comes out. You know, and he's like, hey, you remember when you interrupted me, blah, 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 blah. You know, I, I'm just paying the favor back. Then the Judgment Day come out, you know, and this sets up this whole, like, um, you know, because Finn just attacks Seth. And we, they gave a tease of Cody and Seth for the championship, but we're not giving you that just yet. That's a payoff we need to do later, but we're bringing another story into the mix with Seth freaking Rollins and that world heavyweight championship around his waist and we'll get to that right in the end judgment day attack boom cody grabs the mic he goes there's three of us there's three of you let's do this tonight setting up the big main event um but it, it, it this was a really good start to the show i, I really felt it was a really good start to the show um then we have uh Ricochet, we have Gable, we have Riddle, we have uh, Champa in the back, and they're, they're yelling at each other about the, you know, because they lost the Battle Royale, the Slim Jim Battle Royale, and Adam's like, hey, you know, and everyone's like, hey, you know, you want to settle this beef and everything like that, how about this, number one contenders match for whoever wins will win the Intercontinental Championship, and Chad Gable is home, that crowd popped. So we got Ricochet versus Chad Gable versus uh, Tommaso Ciampa and versus Matt Riddle. A hell of a match. Hell of an ovation for Chad Gable. I've said it time and time again. He's the mattician, the Matt magician. It's Chad freaking Gable. And he got the win and he will face Gunther for that Intercontinental Championship. Oh my 
God, I was on, I, I jumped, I kicked off my tie-dye Crocs, I threw my tie-dye Detroit Lions hat, and I said, yeah, Chad Gable, got a little Otis, my spirit animal, I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, my wife's like, calm down, you big sweaty man, and I, because I had my shirt off at that point, I was like, Chad Gable's gonna take on Gunther, and she's like, okay, bring it down, bring it down, I'm like, okay, I'm just happy that Chad has get, got a lot of love tonight, and he's going to face Gunther for that championship. And I feel like he should be the one to dethrone Gunther. But who am I? I'm just a man that just loves professional wrestling. And Gunther was watching on. We got Cody, Sammy, Seth in the back. Tension's brewing. Sammy's trying to play peacemaker. He's like, hey. And, and uh, Sa uh, they're like Seth's like, what are you guys doing? Huh? He's trying to talk strategy with them. And Cody's like, whoa, bro. Like, we're, we're just getting ready. Like, this and that. And... You know, it, it's just his tension, and uh, Sammy's like, oh, come on, come on. He, he's, he's Mr. Peacemaker, and with uh, Kevin Owens out and hurt, you know, I and I was reading, too, that Seth may be hurt, too, but we'll see, because uh, he was supposed to be in the main event, but he doesn't make it to the main event. Um, the Miz is backstage. He's walking. He's ready for his shoot. He's ready for his picture taken, but no. Guess who's there getting his photo shoot going? It is L.A. Knight. Miz gets mad, Miz gets pissed, and he's going to go out to the ring and talk about L.A. Knight. Um, second match of the night is Shinsuke Nakamura versus Bronson Reed. Um, another banger of the match, and I will say Ricochet, Chad Gable, um, Champa, and Matt Riddle was a hell of a way to start the show, and I was like, man, how can we get any better? It was this match right here with Shinsuke and Bronson Reed because these two tore down the house with each other Shinsuke for the win rightfully so and I, I it, it was just a good match man I I really liked what uh Shinsuke did he knows nice clean win over Bronson Reed and I want to know what are we doing with Bronson Reed now at this point he's had this weird little feud with Ricochet he's had this weird little feud with Shinsuke and I feel like this was like the nail in the coffin for this because Shinsuke is moving on to bigger and better things Raquel's backstage in the medical bay. You know, Adam, she, uh, the, the doctor's like, yo, she's not taking it serious. She's not cleared the, you know, she's not cleared and whatnot. And Adam's like, hey, as soon as you get clear, I told you. And you know, we have a, we have a sighting too. I'm like, who's that? Who? 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 Andy Hartwell, Candice LeRae. Uh, you know, it was with her randomly. I was like, oh, okay, sure. Little TV time, I guess. You know, I... I was like, Indy, my girl, Candace, my girl. And I, I was like, what are we doing with them? You know, you know, where's uh, Johnny Gargano? Like, what, what's going on with these with these two? And will Johnny be back anytime soon? Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Maxine's backstage and Ludwig comes in and he's like, hey, you know, Peria, Gunta, the ring general. You know, putting on the charm, if you will. And Maxine slaps him. This sets up with Otis getting in his face. And then it sets up a match for tonight um, to further the story between Alpha Academy and Imperium. So we got that. Uh, then we have Becky Lynch in the ring. She's cutting a promo. I was really thinking Becky was going to go off the rail on this promo. I thought she was going to bring up the lemons. I thought she was going to bring up SummerSlam. But she did something a little bit more classy, in my opinion. Zoe Stark comes out. She interrupts. And then out of nowhere, after Zoe's like, yo, I'm the baddest one here. Then Shayna comes out with a shiner. And she comes out there and she's like, who's the baddest? Let's hear you say it again. And this sets up a match because uh, Becky's looking. She's like, "Ooh, let's. Uh, this is getting spicy out here, huh? Let's do this right now." And so she gets a ref. Well, I calls Adam out. Adam gets a ref, and now we have Zoe Stark versus Shayna Baszler. Great match right here. These two whooped each other's ass, and Zoe Zoe is getting her a few times. I thought Zoe was gonna get the win on Shayna, but no. Uh, with a little bit of assistance with Becky, who's outside drinking lemonade. 
I thought that was awesome. And I like the fact that Wade Barrett was like, ah, this, this lemonade is, there's no bitterness here because we all know there's some bitterness in that lemonade she made on Saturday because she wasn't on the fucking card for SummerSlam with her and Trish. She's going to face Trish next week. Now it's just kind of, Becky's just like, you know what? That's the business. We move on, but kind of, uh, kind of help Shayna for the win to beat Zoe Stark. Um, backstage, we got JD McDonough with uh, Finn Balor. They've known each other for so long. Damien's like, yo, what's going on here? You know, you what, what was that? You just attack? And Finn's like, yo, I just did what I needed to do because I you didn't follow the plan last week. He's like, what do you mean? So they got in each other's face. Um, Rhea pay, playing peacekeeper over here, you know, because there's so much tension between these two. Uh, after they settle it and after Mommy gets everything calmed down, JD's like, hey, I think I know what the problem is. It's that money in the bank. So maybe you guys should lose that and this tension will be no more. And then uh, Damien gets pissed because like, hey, what, who is she? And Rhea's like, hold on. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> uh, Byron's with Shinsuke. Shinsuke's talking about he hates people getting in his business and whatnot. He hates people. Then boom, JD McDonough attacks Sami Zayn to go there. And I can tell Shinsuke's like, God damn it. You know, why are you doing this? Not as bad as Baron Corbin, because I like the Baron Corbin one where Baron's like, I'm talking, and then they inter- they just walk off from him and stuff like that. But no, uh, J.D. McDonough attacks Sammy, so this sets up, like, what's going to happen in the main event? What's going to happen? What? What? Otis, now, with Maxine versus Ludwig Kaiser with Vinci. Uh, this was a really fun match. Um, but Ludwig got the win because uh, Gunther comes out you know, helped and everything like that. And after the attack, they started beating down Otis. And, but Chad came for the win. And Chad did something really sweet. Uh, I, I I almost skipped over this in my brain because I was just so happy for Chad winning. Chad got to get his kid, um, put put his kid on his shoulder, and they ran around the winning ring and stuff like that. I thought it was a really sweet moment. And that crowd was screaming for Chad. And as rightfully so, because Chad Gable is fucking awesome. I said it here. I've been saying it. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope he has a really damn good match with uh, Gunther for that Intercontinental Championship. Um, Cody and Seth are backstage. They're in the medic area. They come out, and then uh, they're getting an interview. They're like, hey, what's going to happen? And Cody starts talking, and says, like, yeah. And he's like, fine, fine. You conduct this interview. I'm going to go. If it's two of us, it's two of us. We're going to go face them anyway, you know. Walks off, and then here comes Shinsuke. He's like, hey, you know, I can help. <laughs> and I'm like, He's up to something. He is up to something no good. But okay, Shinsuke joins this big six-man tag team match later on tonight. And I'm like, hmm. Me and my wife are like, Shinsuke is going to be up to something. Now we have The Miz. And LA versus LA Knight on the mic. Um, I, I don't know. I felt like this was good. LA Knight was over as fuck. Miz, though, uh, doing his thing, you know, talking about how he's sacrificed almost 20 years, this and that, what he's done to stay on top, what he's done, and LA Knight's telling him he's a safe worker, blah, 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 he's always does what the WWE tells him, and both brought some truths, and uh, LA's like, you want to get personal? Let's get personal. Who won, though, that, that, the words and the stuff like that? I, I feel like it was a, it was a checkmate between the two. You know, but LA Knight got got it over the Miz, and now we're building a, a feud between these two. And I'm like, okay, let's. I want to see more of the mic skills too between these two, and the fact that LA Knight is so over and he won the battle royale, whatever he won, you know, lifetime supply of Slim Jims, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we have another uh, Viking Raiders package because they're coming out. It sets up the Viking Raiders versus New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. New Day Rocks. They're back. Xavier Woods, Kofi Kingston. It felt good seeing these two, but I was like, Biggie. You know, I you know, after after he said like the doctors told him he shouldn't wrestle and this and that, I was like, oh man, I I I love the New Day so much, man. And I think they've added so much to this tag team division. Especially as a team and trios and everything like that. Like um, hopefully I, you know, Beggy comes back to her talking about him being on commentary at some point, you know, uh, well him doing commentary and, uh, that, that'll be interesting, but, uh, you know, never say never though. Like Brian, uh, Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan or whatever you want to say, you know, look at edge, man. They, they had career ending like uh, injuries, but they came back 
And I believe never say never in his business, and that could happen for Big E. But I was hoping Big E was coming out at some point. But that's okay, though. The New Day won. They got they beat the Viking Raiders. And once again, the Viking Raiders gets this really cool package before our match. And guess what? They lose. They lose. <laughs> well, is not a good luck charm. <laughs> because they lose. They, they get this momentum, then they lose. They get a little momentum, and then they lose, you know. So then it ends in some Viking Raiders match, and they win the match. And it's just like, yeah, cool. What, what are we doing? You know, what are we doing? Just asking. Becky backstage with Byron interview, but Shayna interrupts and says, Shayna's like, hey, don't don't ever help me again. Don't do that. You want to know why? Because I'm Shayna Baszler. I sent Ronda Rousey packing. She made some good points earlier. And she says, hey, I got her out of the WWE. And then she, then she says, guess what? I'm coming for the man next. And Becky's like, all right. And I was like, Shayna Baszler versus Becky Lynch? Oh. Oh, okay. Ah, you know, this, there's a lot of nice crispy stuff tonight, man, that made me all happy. New Day backstage interview saying they're bringing back positivity back into uh, the tag team division. They're like the Usos, and this is going on, this, 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 and uh, the Street Profits, they've gone bad, but we're here now to bring the positivity, you know, and I was like, okay. Now, but now it's one of those things, like, if, with Kevin Hurt, are they going to relinquish those tag team championships? And will we get new tag team champions down down the line here? I don't know the extent of Kevin Owens' injury or when he's coming back, but no one said anything. Sammy's just kind of been here, you know, floating, trying to, you know, stay in the storylines as best he can, especially with Imperium and what's going on with the Judgment Day and stuff like that. So we, we shall see. And I, uh, if anybody's going to get those tag team championships, I feel like it should be the New Day or the Street Profits, either or. Or the New Day joins uh, Bobby Lashley and them, but I, it wouldn't make sense if they had another tag team in that faction. So, um, Sonya Deville, man, nothing but love, nothing but respect, torn ACL, and they just won those women's tag team championships I saw someone like, these titles are cursed, and I feel like that's a thing. And, you know, with Liv, that got hurt, and this and that. But this one hurt me a lot. You know, Sonya Deville, if you can hear me right right now, and Chelsea Green, I love you both. Uh, When you guys won the Tag Team Championships, I was was over the moon. You can listen to that episode of when you guys won. I was like, fuck yes. You know, when you beat Raquel, you beat Liv. I was in your guys' corner because you guys have gelled so well as a tag team. And it's nothing but love and respect for you two. Sonya, you know, I hope you heal up quick like Wolverine and you come back and whoop some more ass with Chelsea Green. Or you come and whip some more ass on your own. It's nothing but love and respect for, for you, Sonya Deville. And nothing but love and respect for Chelsea Green. And she posted on Instagram. She's like, I'll hold these titles, you know. You know, and it, so it, love and respect, man. Come back soon. So now it's going to see what's going to happen with those tag team championships. Where do they go now? You know, with the story, you know. So it, it, it's just like, ah. Now the main event. The Judgment Day versus Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, and Shinsuke Nakamura. And this was a match that I really wish I could have enjoyed. But there was so many fucking commercials. Man, you get the first hour with no commercials, or first 40, 55 minutes as I as I clocked it, um, before the first commercial actually came on. I was I was a little annoyed. Me and my wife was annoyed. We were, like, really looking forward to this match. And don't get me wrong, this was a fun match. This was a great match. Um, but I wish we saw more of it than we did on the picture-in-picture. Picture. Like, there was, like, three commercial breaks, I feel like, in this match. Like, in the start, before, right when this match started, we had Raquel Rodriguez, Tack Rhea Ripley. She, they're fighting, and then... then um, Candice LeRae comes out, Indy Hartwell come out, and they didn't get their asses kicked, and then Rhea's pissed, and we come back, and Rhea's getting calmed down by Dom Dom and everything like that, and then we start the match, and then uh, as soon as I heard the cues, if you are if you are new to pro wrestling, or if you're new to watching it, or anything like that, if you ever want to know when a commercial break is coming, listen to the commentator's voice. 
the commentator gets uh his the pitch of the commentator gets a little bit higher like oh my god can Tony Rhodes come back with this you know as soon as they hit that pitch I was like oh and that happened right here me and her are watching and then like there's a point where uh, I heard Michael Cole's voice go up a little bit and I was like god damn it she's like what I was like commercial break and it went to commercial break she goes you watch way too much wrestling <laughs> but that I guess that wasn't the story that we're trying to see here. We weren't here to see an awesome six man tag team match. We saw some some uh, some seeds being laid for the storytelling with Damien with Finn. You know, Rhea's trying to keep the peace. Judgment Day. We got a little bit of a tease of Cody and um, Seth. You know, and and Sammy came out because it came. You know, Sammy came out. They, it was just a big brawl. But Seth, Cody, Shinsuke for the win. And I, me and my wife, were like, all right. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's Shinsuke. And boom. And he's got this swagger about it. Walks out, moves his hair out of his face. He's like, did I do that? Uh, Oh, what happened? Oh, no. Poor Seth got laid out by Shinsuke. And now we know where Seth is going story-wise. It's going to be him and Shinsuke for that championship. And I think it's going to happen at Payback. So... And we're going to build this feud. And I'm like, thank you. Let's put Shinsuke back into the title picture. Let's put Shinsuke back into the main event. Because it's Shinsuke Nakamura. Like, you know, like now I'm like, okay, I like this. Let's keep Cody there afloat above this and stuff like that. And Cody was like, oh, what happened? Sammy's like, oh, what happened? But I was like, Shinsuke walked around, walked away as the champ in this one of my eyes. You know, he walked away with that swagger and everything like that. I was just like, okay, I, I like this. And I like the fact we're teasing other stories in here as well. And Payback is going to be an interesting card that we're going to build to. But I'm here and I'm ready for it. All right, y'all. I give this Raw a solid 5 out of 5. You know, it, it was it was a packed show. Packed with a lot of great matches. Except for the... Well, the main event was good. But damn commercials. I, I But I, overall, solid after SummerSlam show. We did what we needed to do. We, we reset the timeline, if you will, story-wise. We got Michael Cole, we got Wade Barrett, and it felt really good to have these guys on commentary. I'm not going to lie. Um, so now we're on to Canada next week in Raw. Now we got, and then we got SmackDown this week with Roman Reigns. Oh, hell, the tribal chief. The real tribal chief. And just a quick side note to everybody out there. I'm already, you know, it's funny. After every big pay-per-view... I did have a problem with the main event of SummerSlam. I felt like it was way too long. We could have shortened a few things here and there. We could have had the solo. We could have had the Jimmy attack. But I was telling um, Big Daddy when I, we saw each other the other day, I was like, if I had to tighten up that show just, just a little bit, Jimmy could have come out and teased, you know, they're about to kick him. But then you do the swerve and he kicks Jay, walks away, you know, like he did, not with the bandana or whatever because i we all felt and knew it was coming either solo was going to turn on roman or jimmy was going to turn on jay like it was it was there in our face and then seeing everybody am i seeing it on the tiktoks i see it on the twitters i see it on the oh my god WWE sucks. God damn it, Triple a. i'm like shut the fuck up you're going to be watching tomorrow night anyway. You're going to watch on SmackDown anyway. Why? That is, is, it goes into this cycle of us being crazy pro wrestling fans. God, let's just see what happens. You know, because I saw what was like, you, this, this is why Cody should have won. And then this is the bloodline, the way it is. I'm like, bro, calm down. <laughs> because you screaming like this and you yelling like this. You know, I understand as a passionate fan, man. I understand. But at the end of the day... We're still going to be watching to see what's going on, you know. So there's my two cents there. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all. Tell me what you think of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Share with your grandma. Share with your grandma. Share with the bum down at Walmart. Go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash New World Podcast. Get yourself that sweet NWP logo created by Penta X. He's got some new music on the way. That's it. That's all. And remember. Oh, too sweet me, brother. Too sweet me. The New World Podcast is for life, brother. Now, did I hear you right when you said you feel like you can beat anyone?
in the world.